Welcome back to our channel Just Australia. Dreaming of sun-kissed beaches, vibrant cities, and vast landscapes. Australia beckons with open arms, but your first hurdle is often the visa application process. While the beauty of ounce awaits, understanding the ever-changing processing times for various visas can feel like navigating a bureaucratic maze. Fear not, aspiring adventurer. This video aims to demystify the latest processing times for Australian visas, empowering you to plan your journey with clarity and confidence. So if this is your first time coming across this channel, please be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon to always be notified. The ever-shifting landscape. It's important to understand that processing times are not static. They fluctuate depending on visa type, individual circumstances, and even global events. Factors like application volume, staff availability, and security checks all play a role in how long your application might take. Your visa, your timeline. Let's dive into the diverse world of Australian visas and their current processing times. Tourist visas, e-visitor and subclass 651 good news. These visas generally come with the fastest turnaround, often processed within 48 hours to 20 days. However, peak seasons and complex applications can lengthen the wait. Working holiday visas, subclass 462 This popular visa boasts swift processing, typically within one to two months. However, the influx of applications during July-September often sees extended wait times, potentially exceeding 30 days. Student visas, Subclasses 500 and 590 processing times for student visas can vary significantly. Expect a wait of four to six months for applications lodged outside Australia, while onshore applications might be processed within three to four months. Skilled migration visas, subclasses 189, 190, 489, etc. These visas are crucial for skilled professionals seeking long-term residency. Unfortunately, they also come with the longest processing times, ranging from 12 to 30 months depending on the subclass and your individual circumstances. Partner visas, subclasses 100, 300, and 820 reuniting with loved ones is a priority, and the processing times for partner visas reflect that. Expect a wait of 12 to 24 months, potentially longer for complex cases. Remember, these are just estimated timelines, and your specific weight may differ. For the most accurate and up-to-date information, always check the official Department of Home Affairs website. Understanding processing times is crucial, but it's just one piece of the puzzle. Here are some additional tips for a smooth visa application journey. Choose the right visa, don't settle for the first option that comes your way. Carefully research different visa types and choose the one that best aligns with your goals. Submit a complete and accurate application. Incomplete applications can lead to delays and even rejection. Double check all documents and information before submitting. Be mindful of peak seasons. Visa processing times generally tend to increase during holidays and summer months. Plan your application accordingly to avoid unnecessary delays. Stay informed. Subscribe to official updates from the Department of Home Affairs to stay in the loop about any changes in processing times or policies. The path to Australia might seem long and winding, but by understanding processing times and utilizing the tips above, you can navigate the visa application process with confidence. Remember, patience, preparation, and accurate information are your guiding lights on this exciting journey. So, dust off your sense of adventure, arm yourself with knowledge, and start planning your dream down under experience. We hope this video helped you to know the current visa processing times in Australia currently. Please don't forget to leave your thoughts on the comment section below, and don't also forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on Australia immigration. Have a great day!